645 and now time for the legal landscape. Our legal analyst attorney Dan Adams joins us every Monday breaking down the biggest cases happening across Wisconsin and our country. Dan, good morning to you. A lot of people are talking about those charges against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Can you explain the law that New York prosecutors are using to prosecute him and is it unusual? Sure, and good morning. Yes, uh, Sean Combs, known as Puff Daddy, is being charged with RICO. That is, uh, you know, you think about most crimes, they are episodic. You uh, uh, kill somebody, that's a homicide. You rob somebody, that's a robbery. These are one-time things. What uh, Puff Daddy is being charged with is RICO, which is maintaining a criminal organization. And that creates big penalties for him. What the government must prove in a RICO case is that uh, Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, committed at least two predicate crimes. These are crimes that aided the overall criminal organization. Uh, we think of RICO as usually being something that goes after uh, the mafia or drug cartels, really organizations that have been set up uh, for the purpose of committing crimes. Of course, we know that Puff Daddy's organization was really a music uh, uh, creating company and uh, sold apparel in Sean John. Uh, so it wasn't really a criminal organization, uh, but what the government's trying to show is that he committed crimes within this organization over time for the benefit uh, of this racketeering. And in this case, uh, again, it's, it's kind of an expansive use of the RICO law, uh, and they're using it to show that Sean Combs uh, trafficked women uh, and actually men as well, uh, distributed drugs uh, in furtherance of that criminal organization. So this is really uh, an unusual way to use this law, but this is what Sean Combs is looking at. Yeah, we know that Diddy is still being detained and his legal team has been working hard to get him released. Doesn't he have the right to bail? And that hasn't happened yet. So on the federal side, there is a presumption that someone should be released pending trial. Again, all, all people that are uh, accused in our system have the presumption of innocence. So the presumption also is, is that they should be uh, on the street while they're fighting their case. However, under federal law, there is also a presumption that uh, sex trafficking, which is the second count that he is looking at, uh, the presumption is that he is uh, too unsafe to be on the street uh, pending uh, his case, and he wasn't able to rebut that presumption at, at his two hearings last week. Uh, so uh, again, he offered to put up his $50 million mansion, which was unencumbered, which the federal government requires uh, if you're going to put up the collateral property. Uh, and the judge said, no, that's not enough. There's no combination of release factors, even electronic monitoring, house arrest, that type of thing that would allow uh, the community to be protected and to assure that Diddy would come back to court. So he's detained until trial. Yeah, still behind bars this morning. Something we'll continue to watch over the next few months. Dan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you again next Monday for more of the legal landscape.